guys welcome to our first video shoot to kill outdoors just a couple regular guys We're gonna film and record all of our hunting experiences scouting hunting We're gonna self film our hunts this year or film each other's hunts but this is our first YouTube video so please bear with us we'll get better I promise today I'm gonna scout food plot behind me and I put a couple cameras and see if I can get any white-tailed animals with some velvet on their horns on camera so let's go starting to rain on me a little bit I already got the cameras out and everything ready to go so I wasn't gonna let this little bit of rain stop me Walking through a food plot right now, it's a pretty good one. This is all public land. Well, we're back at the truck. I didn't find too much fresh sign. So, I'm gonna go check out a new plot. Maybe put a camera out somewhere else. So, let's go. We'll get some videos posted. Showing the, the bows that we shoot. And uh, broadheads, our arrow setups, all that business later on Corey is in Tennessee and Ohio for the next couple weeks so right now it's by myself but he should be putting out a video pretty soon possibly this weekend um, so you guys get to meet him but like I said our goal of this channel is just to record our experiences and take you guys with us. Just uh, get something on video we can look at in later years. Hopefully it's something worth watching. Stop raining, hopefully it doesn't pour on me anymore. Scouting. Maybe do some hunting this fall. Mainly bow hunting. Uh, hate to fall in that big old thing. Dang manhole. But we are hunting North Carolina public land. So. If you ever hunted North Carolina, you know the struggles to go through there. It's not the best, or it's not the friendliest state for bow hunters, to put it that way. I'm walking back to where I know there's some clearings that I don't know if many people know about. I ran into this spot last year but because of work I couldn't hunt much this year it looks like I should be able to hunt a decent amount I'm gonna hunt here a lot in North Carolina maybe I'll get to go up to Colorado and hunt some mule deer and elk if uh, Colorado decides to sell to non-residents because of COVID. I think I'm gonna hang a camera somewhere in this tree line. Dang near every tree is tree stand worthy. So, see if there's any deer that frequent this field. Gonna make a mock scrape. Use some old rattling horns to make the scrape. Alright guys, behind me, 
on that tree right there. I got my camera set up and mock scrape set up right there underneath that branch. Put some urine on it so to get it started. And sooner rather than later, get some deer movement on that thing. That'd be nice. I won't expect anything for the next few days, maybe get my scent out of here. But hopefully get something on that camera. Let go find another spot to point to put another camera. This got a lot of me walking around fields. That's only because here in North Carolina, if you ever hunted North Carolina, you know. But the woods are thick, man. They are very thick. And if you're 99% uh, of the woods here, you can't shoot 10 yards with a bow. So, oh, hope that camera don't get stolen. But, yeah, so I think field edges here in this part of the country gives you your best opportunity. Maybe not. Maybe you guys can tell me something different, but come to understand that's why dog hunting or hunting deer with dogs is such a big thing in these parts. But, I don't know. Not looking forward to this walk back. Probably about a mile back here. Got some kind of trail right here. Somebody's been using. Sure, it would be nice to find some big old sheds. That'd be pretty cool, but don't know if that's gonna happen. It's been raining for the last two days, and everything is flooded which is pretty par for the course for the weather around here. But it is what it is. A lot of the fresh tracks and what have you, probably gone, washed away. It's been raining pretty hard. It is August 15th. It is August 15th. That's right. So I got about 21 days. So I'm fending off the mosquitoes in early September. But so we got to do what you got to do to kill the deer in the velvet. Not to get that off my bucket list and kill a, a mountable buck in North Carolina. I'm from Arkansas, but work has me here. But this is my last deer season in North Carolina. So after this, I'll be taking the channel back home, back to Arkansas where we have a the average deer is a little bigger, to say the least. But anywhere I've got opportunity, definitely gonna hunt. Oh, a turkey track. Got us a turkey feather here. I'm telling you guys, there is turkey everywhere. Luckily, North Carolina gives us two birds to kill, but only one season do it in the spring. So I guess that'll give us the opportunity to put out more content. I'm seeing so much turkey tracks right now. Need to see some more white-tailed animals. That's why I can kill the soonest. These dadgum turkeys. We gotta go ahead and climbers. 
pretty soon. Um, and again, I don't know if I'm just gonna hang my stand the first day I hunt, if I don't let it come back in here, or, or I'll pick a day, just go hang stands everywhere that I possibly be hunting, put locks on them, and take the climbing sticks away. Nobody steals them. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. I think I might found some some bedding area in here. Little creek bottom. Some bed hairs in there. Uh, came that way earlier. So. But highly recommend if you're going to be hunting. Any, anywhere remotely close to the south, better myself. I would forget my release before I forgot my better myself. I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes right now, but it's all for the cause. Okay guys, I got a second camera out overlooking this food plot. I got it low because for some reason that camera, the way it takes pictures, you need to put it pretty low. It's just a cheap $28 Tasco, but it does the job just to just that inventory deer. So we'll leave that and might leave it up until the beginning of season starts and just swap SD cards whenever uh, if I come hunt this place right here alright guys that's it uh, just a quick video um, not that ex wasn't that exciting of a video but uh, we got the YouTube channel up and I just wanted to get something on there uh, like I say um, we got bow reviews of what we're shooting arrow setups coming up um Corey's probably gonna be uploading a video pretty soon and uh probably more scouting videos um looking for bedding so forth um yeah well, that's about it guys uh, i'm gonna sign off and if you like the video or hope you like future videos give us a thumbs up comment with what you'd like to see improvements we can do and uh subscribe if you want to we prefer it and uh guys tell us what you think